Hi, this is Karen with Snickerdoodle Designs, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a scatter in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use this butterfly. This is from my Butterflies 03 pack, and that is what we're going to create our pattern with. So the first step is to open the item that you want to create the scatter with, and I already have my butterfly open. Next, we'll go to Edit and Define Pattern. We can leave it named as it is, or you can give it a new name if you like, and then go ahead and click OK, and X out or close the image. Now we need to create a new blank document, so we'll go to File, New. We want a 36 by 3600 pixel or 12 by 12 inches, 300 dpi, and we want a transparent background, and go ahead and click OK. Next, we'll go back up to Edit, Fill. We want to fill the contents with a pattern, so if you have anything else selected here, just click on the down pointing arrow and choose Pattern. We want to choose the item that we just created a pattern for, so with Custom Pattern, click on the down pointing arrow. The pattern that you just created should be the last image. Click on it to select it, and then click on the gray part over here. We don't want to click OK yet, but we want to get back to the dialog box. We now want to click on Script and Random Fill. The down pointing arrow gives you several options. Choose Random Fill and uncheck or make sure that the uh, Preserve Transparency is unchecked. If it's checked, uncheck it and click OK. Now a dialog box comes up and it gives you all these different options. The choices that you make here will dictate the size, the shape, and the density of your pattern fill. I used a 0.5 density, scale factor of 0.32, a maximum of 0.45. I do want the pattern to rotate and this is similar to the pattern that I'm going to get. If you change the density, you're going to get more butterflies. And if you change the scale factor, you're going to get larger butterflies. So you will set as small as you want, as large as you want here. But you can go ahead and play with these as you like. And then just go ahead and click OK. And your pattern will be filled. Now if you want, you can go ahead and put a white background behind this. It's a little easier to see, but you do have your butterfly pattern, your butterfly scatter. You can drop that on a background page or you can go ahead and erase some of those butterflies and make a cute little scatter. I took my full page scatter and I erased some of the butterflies away because I wanted to put it behind this cluster and this cluster was created using my kit Nature Hike 2 and I think the butterflies just add a lot to this cluster. So make sure that you download, go to my uh, link below and go to this tutorial. You can download this cluster for your own use and I hope that you will find this tutorial fun and totally addicting like I do. Thanks for watching.